Hi, today I'll be showing you how to code the simplest possible CSS cube. So we're going to start with a cube element. And as you can see, we already have the colors there. A cube has six faces, but the opposing faces are going to have the same color. So we only need three colors. And here we're going to have a loop. So for i going from zero up to three, because we have uh, three directions in 3D, increment this i. And here we're going to have a vector around uh, which we perform the initial rotation. And um, then we're going to have a very similar loop, except we're going to change the loop index. So we're not going to have i, we're going to have uh, j right here. And um, we're going to push into this vector. If i equals j, we're going to push one, otherwise zero. So we just uh, convert this boolean to a number right and then we're going to have our direction elements and in their style attribute we set the vector okay and um, we also set their color so um, okay now that we've done this let's look a bit at the compiled html okay this looks perfect as you can see one zero 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 one zero 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 one perfect okay now, having done this, uh, we're going to have an inner radius for the cube. So this is uh, the radius of the sphere that touches all the faces inside the cube. So let's say this is going to be something like 5ms. And for our direction faces, uh, actually, for all div elements, uh, we're going to set display grid, um, place self uh, center, and uh, transform style preserve 3d so this is for all divs now here we're going to have grid area um, all of them are going to be on the first row and first column so they're going to overlap and we're going to have similar for the uh, before and the after okay and we're going to set the padding to that uh, radius uh, we're going to set a background to the color that we've set in the style attribute and of course we need uh, to set uh, content to nothing because otherwise we're not going to see anything okay uh, of course we're not seeing anything so let's um, do a bit in terms of layout let's also set margin zero make height full height here okay um, now having done this let's also set perspective something like 25 m's right uh, now on the cube let's say uh, we're going to set something like uh, transform rotate um, y 45 degrees something like this let's say Okay, um, what's wrong? Oh, yeah, that's what's wrong. Okay, so that. Now, we also need to set a transform right here and we're going to set uh, rotate 3D and we're going to use that vector, right? And 90 degrees. And then we're going to have a rotation around the Y axis and this is going to be a calc. Um, um, a J let's call it times half a turn like this and uh, here we'll set this uh, J actually can just uh, set a fallback of zero and um, on the after let's set it to one okay and then the final step is translate along the z-axis by the inner radius and if we also add a rotate x I don't know 35 degrees I don't know it doesn't really matter oops like this so yeah as you can see we already have um, we already have our cube now let's animate it 
So this is not really important, the animation part, because what I really wanted to show you is the cube, but let's have a bit of fun with it. So let's say we're going to have, um, um, first off, keyframes, a rotation animation. Let's say it's going to go to um, rotate, um, a rotation vector of 111 and one turn. So let's say we're going to have that. So animation, rotation, let's say three seconds, uh, linear, infinite. So yeah, something like this we're going to have for the first animation. And let's say we're going to have a second animation. This is going to be keyframes, let's say a scale. And let's say we're going to have something a bit different, so let's say 25%. Uh, this is going to be scale um, 0.25, 1, 1. And then we're going to have, let's say, 50% scale 1.25, 1. And then we're going to have 75% I'm, I'm just toying with values here. I don't really know what the result will look like. Just, I'm just playing with stuff a bit. So um, let's say, so this is going to be scale. Uh, let's say it's going to be also three seconds. Um, is out infinite, let's see. So yeah. It looks like something. Uh, let's see if I do something. Easings, right? So, um, um, something like this. If we take an easing from here, for example, this one. So if we use it instead of ease out, let's see. Yeah, it's, it's kind of something. Anyway, I won't be tweaking it anymore. You can play with it uh, if you want. Uh, this is pretty much what I wanted to show you for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have and you want me to be able to do more stuff in the future, please consider supporting the work that I've been putting out for more than eight years now. You can do so by being a cool cat and becoming a patron on Patreon. The link is going to be in the description. Or you can get me something off my Amazon wishlist. Again, the link is going to be in the description. Just like links for other resources uh, that may be relevant to this topic, they are going to be in the description. Or you can at least share this to show the world what can be done with CSS these days. Because honestly, I think it's pretty damn cool. In any event, thanks for watching and until next time. Bye!